What's up, y'all? It's Happy Tuesday, just out here getting this workout in. It's early morning, early grind. As I'm taking a break, I wanted to make this quick video to share this quick message all you guys out there that have goals, that have dreams, that have aspirations for your life. And you really want to improve your life, you really want to change your life, you really want to be successful, but you're just so afraid. You're so afraid of failing, you're so afraid of what people are going to say, you're so afraid of the criticism, people telling you that it's impossible, you're not good enough, it's too late, it's too early in your life, that you will never be able to achieve your goals and dreams and aspirations for your life. And sometimes that when we focus on the negativity, when we focus on why things won't work out, it makes change, it makes success, it makes life improvement so complicated. And a lot of people think that success is complicated. But for me, in my own experience in my life, that success is really simple. It's just having faith and having a vision and believing in what you love to do and just putting the work and putting the time. And you have to grind for what you love. You have to grind for your future. You have to grind for things that you want for your life. Because the reality is most people are just lazy. Most people are not willing to put in the work. Most people are not disciplined to work towards their goals and dreams. I know a lot of people look at me and think that I'm crazy, think that I have some kind of, some kind of talent or some kind of gift and that, you know, things are just work out naturally for my life. I always have to remind people that everything that you see in my life, every, everything that you see of who I am and of what I do in my life, it's, it's, it's all a byproduct of hard work and discipline. Because for me, I'm just a, I'm a normal man. I'm a Tongan man. I came from Donga, I came from the struggle. I came to this country, I had nothing but the clothes in my, in my bag. I didn't know how to speak English that well. I had no confidence in myself. But for me, growing up in Donga, in the struggle, you know, even though that we were poor, but the one thing that we always did is we woke up every single morning and tried to figure out how to take care of our family. We didn't sit around, we didn't complain, we weren't lazy. We got up every morning and figure out a way to feed our family, figure out a way to find some food, go to Uta, go to support our family. We just, we just work as a family, we just work as cousins, and we just found a way to do our part, do our role, to do our chores, and we were able to survive, and not only survive, but we were able to be happy and thrive growing up in the islands. And for me, growing up in that situation, growing up in that struggle, the one thing I took away from it is, is hard work always, when you work hard for the things you want for your life, things always tend to work out for your life. And that's what I've taken away from growing up in Tonga as I moved here to the US, trying to make a life for myself. I know for myself, I have big goals and big dreams. I have a goal to be a motivational speaker. I have a goal to start a successful podcast, which I am currently doing. I have goals to create generational wealth for my family, take my family out the struggle and help out my family back in Tonga. And I know a lot of people in my family, in my, in my life, think I'm crazy, think that my goals and dreams are too big, think that I'm not good enough, things, think that I probably will never achieve it. But it's good, everybody is entitled to their own opinion. But for me, the one thing I've learned in my life that is when I put in the time and when I put in the work, things always tend to happen for my life. And that's how I've always lived my life. That's how I have survived in this new country. That's how I'm able to take care of myself and feed myself and provide a roof over my head, pay my bills and take care of myself is that I'm not willing to sit around and wait for things to happen. I get up and just go out there and make things happen for myself. And I know and I realize for myself that giving up is never the option. Because if you want something that you've never had, you've got to be willing to do something you've never done. And most people in life that have goals and dreams and aspirations, you know, they're just not willing to put in the work. And they focus on all the reasons why it won't work out. They focus on all the negativity in their life. And they kind of try to justify how and make it seem like it's so hard when it's actually really simple. Success is simple, but the process is difficult. 
But just because something is difficult in your life does not make it impossible. A lot of people like to use the word impossible to justify their own lack of faith, their own uh, laziness, their own lack of discipline, and their own reasoning of, of why they settle. And for me, you know, the reason why I don't give up because the reason why I keep striving, keep working towards my, my passion, my goals, and my dreams because I already know what my life is going to be if I give up. I already know what the struggle is. I already know what pain is. I already know what poverty is. I grew up in that life. So I want to see how far I can go in my life. I want to see if it's possible to achieve my goals and dreams, even though there's no guarantee, even though I have, there's no evidence right now in my life that things will work out. But the only way I can find out is by putting in the work and putting the time. And it's just like working out. I know everybody wants to be healthy. Everybody wants to have a fit body, but nobody's going to show up every single day at the gym and put in the time, put in the work. Everybody wants to wish for things to happen. Everybody wants to hope for things to happen. Everybody wants to complain of why things are happening, but nobody wants to show up and put in the work and the time. And for me, even though I have big goals and dreams, even though a lot of people say that I can't do the things I want to do, even though I have a lot of critics, I have a lot of naysayers, but for me, all I know is I have my faith, I have my God, I have my two hands, two feet, I have my, I have my health, I have my mentality, I have my passion, I have my vision, and I have my work ethic. And for me, I've worked hard for everything in my life, and that has gotten me this far in my life. And it has gotten me this far, I know it's gonna take me to the next level, but I have to keep putting in the work. So I don't worry, I don't focus on the negativity, I don't worry about tomorrow. All I do is focus what I can do today and just take it day by day. And honestly, that's the key to success is just putting in the work and putting the time and having faith in every single day, just doing something every single day to put you closer to your dreams and goals tomorrow. So I just wanted to make this quick video for everybody out there, to all my Polynesians out there, to all my Tongans out there, everybody out there that has a goal and a dream. If you have something you really desire, you really want, and you're really passionate about, I am telling you it is possible, but you have to put in the work and the time. Don't listen to negative people. Don't listen to the naysayers. You know, everybody will always try to make you feel bad for being different because they can't stand or they can't, um, you know, they can't stand seeing people live a better life, improving and being successful when, you, when we all grew up the same way, when we all came from the same struggle, same situation. And that makes them uncomfortable because they lack, because they're insecure themselves and they lack the confidence in themselves because they have given up on their own goals and dreams. So, yeah, I just want to make, wanna, I wanted to make this quick video for everyone out there. I know it's longer. I need to get back to working now. I think I took too long, too long of a break, but I just wanted to make this video out there for everybody out there. And like I say in every video, let's walk by faith and not by sight. Let's spread the love and positivity. Say bless. Alpha to peace.